Hey, this is Donovan Bailey here with the other Donovan, Donovan Bennett. Let's go. I'm gonna put that in my bio, the other Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> the Donovan. Well, you know what? I, 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 I never say never, man. Never give up. That's just that's just me. Donovan Bailey, number one in Canada once again. Donovan Bailey, a personal best of 10 11. You're moving. During Black History Month, I'll go to schools. And it's interesting to see the different figures that are celebrated and taught, but there's a couple that, no matter where, are on that list. Viola Desmond, Willie O'Ree, Donovan Bailey. Wow. For you to be a teaching point on the history of black Canadians when, for so long, our black history was learning about Americans, what does that mean for you? Well, first of all, that's an incredible list, and I'm very humbled to be part of that list. That's number one. Number two, you know what? I'm just George and Daisy's son. That's really how I look at it. You know, I made some opportunities for myself. I was given some opportunities. I, I had great support, and I just took advantage of all those things. Now, if playing it forward, you know, I've set the standards that's pretty high, and, and we can teach that not only during Black History Month, but the other 11 months, uh, you know, then I'm happy. I'm happy that, um, that I did those things. And when I was an athlete, there was really no blueprint for me to be successful either during my career or post career. So I'm hoping that my story will be instrumental in, in anyone, in anyone really in Canada who want to be the very best and, and, and so they can speak into that being their truths and then they can get up and, and go work at it. You look at someone like Deion Sanders. I have lofty expectations for this team, for this school, for this university, I really do about the world's ability to handle a black man that is both successful and outspoken. Right. You dealt with that in the 90s. Right. The fact that we're still having this conversation makes you feel what? Uh, old. <laughs> um, but no, you, but imagine that. You, you just mentioned Dion, who, who is you know, an, an amazing inspiration as an athlete, as a father, as a partner, as a coach, as a motivational speaker, uh, you know, as a positive role model, like, across the board. I mean, I mean, he happens to be a black man, yes, but he's such an incredible force, right? And, and so I had to deal with that as an athlete. And, I, and, and funny, we're having a conversation now, I'm still dealing with that now, still being a positive person, you know, amidst all the nuances and, and, and the craziness that I've gone through with, with relationships with, uh, with our sports association and, 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 and governing bodies and all that, uh, especially in this country. Um, yeah, I, I, this, nothing's gonna stop me. If we took Donovan from the era in the 90s mm -hmm. and placed him in today's era as a current athlete, how would things be different? Pro, con, what would that experience be like? I don't like to compare because I think that the person who best suits that question would probably be my coach, Dan. With the technology uh, that, that, that exists in the world right now with the track, training, nutrition, physical support, uh, media support. I think that I would be different. I, I, I can't tell you that I wouldn't be anything other than like the greatest sprint on earth if I was competing today. If you gave your story to someone and there was a lesson of value that you hoped they took away from it and applied to their life, what would it be? Well, like my mom said, um, Sometimes it's not your time. Surround yourselves with the right people and be patient. Easier said than done. Well, you have to be disciplined to be all of those things, which simply means that you have to make a commitment to yourself first. You know, that's the world we live in right now where you have a lot of people that are looking at the material gain of other people on social media and not understanding the value of a team and the work that you have to put in.